What up, Doe Tubers? This is Super Dale. What it do? What it do? Um, just in case you've been living up under a rock, Google announced that they will start in another year or so. They will start blocking third-party application that you know displays content that is you know not supposed to be shown to us or you bypassing a subscription okay i think we all know what it is these movie and tv show apps they third party for example btv film plus viva so forth whatever else is out there all right google has announced if you have a device that's running the legit android tv the legit google tv devices such as NVIDIA Shield, TiVo Stream 4K, Chromecast with Google TV, the ON streaming devices, for example, ON 4K Pro, ON 4K Plus, the ON Stick, or just the ON 4K streaming device, because it's four of them. Any device that's running the legit Android TV, Google TV will be affected by this all right now we talked about in my last video um devices that are not you know running the google tv or android tv in which you will be able to will you be affected by those devices and the answer is no but if you're going to use a device such as the ones i just named yeah you're going to be affected all right um, this is supposed to go down starting next year in certain countries. And by 2027, it's supposed to just go out to everyone. So, well, my job is to prepare you, all right? Again, this came out last week. Today is September the 2nd. This came out mid last week where Google, matter of fact, the 26th or the 25th, somewhere around there, Google TV is cracking down on pirated apps, all right? Again, BTV, Film Plus, Viva, and whatever apps is actually allowing you to watch movies and TV shows and listening to music, all right? I got this from um, Core Cutting News, but also AFTV News is running it too, all right? So we, we know what the heck is going on. Of course, I'm one of the guilty parties. I'm like, hey, listen, forget that device. Forget the Amazon devices because we know Amazon devices are going to Vega OS. At least that's what they've been telling us for the last year and a half. And it hasn't happened yet. So we might be good still with Amazon. All right. But the Google TV, Android TVs are now the talk of the town. We know how much Walmart's on streaming devices are. It's been a big, big push for those devices and what we can do with those devices. Now we have to figure out what we're going to do. Are we going to go back to these cheap Chinese boxes or, you know, we're going to have to find a workaround? Well, one thing I'll be able to say for sure, if you have, this application right here that is called Cody, you can still somewhat, I ain't going to even say somewhat, you can still get to your content. Cody is a legitimate application. It's what you do with Cody that can make it illegal, depending on where you are in this world. Okay? We know about it. I'm not going to sit back and tell you what Cody build or what you can do. Again, do your own research. Don't just go to YouTube and type in Cody Bill. That is it, all right? And then you do your own research. You do your own homework. But Cody is a media center. Plex, MB, Jellyfin, Nova Video Player, all are a branch off of Cody. All right. Now, if you are an Apple user, there is one called Infuse, which is very, very nice. 
Simple, easy to use. So if you do have your media library, you got a NAS, you got an external hard drive, and you got, or if you're using a cloud service and it's out there and you want to add it to a media center such as Cody, which Cody will take it, Plex will take it if you have your own media library, Nova Video Player will take it, MB will take it, Jellyfin will take it. Also, one of my other favorite devices, Zidu would take your media library and actually do all of it for you. It would make your artwork look beautiful and everything. But let's get back to this one, Cody. Cody is not a third-party application, but it's very, very powerful. With the news from Google TV, all right, about Google TV and Android TV, for some of y'all who love third-party applications, which we have been spoiled, we have been spoiled by third-party applications. Your next thing you might want to start doing is learning Cody and what you can do with it. To say just that way, when they turn off the lights on them third-party applications, ah, uh, you got you already got Cody in your back pocket. All right. Get familiar with Cody. Go to YouTube. Cody Bills. That is it. I'm not going to show you how to do it because YouTube terms and services, but that's all you got to do, and you can go from there. All right? Let's look at it. You can do music on here, similar to the third-party applications. Movies on here, similar to the third-party applications. TV shows on here. Similar to the third-party applications. Your own personal photos, you can do that to the third-party applications. Private video or personal video recorder, ah, you can do that as well. We got plenty of applications out there that will allow you to do that. And then also your games, all right? Pretty straightforward uh, with the games. Again, very easy to set up. Plenty of videos out here on YouTube and Rumble that will help you get by. But the one great thing about Cody compared to third-party applications, all right, it works on Windows, it works on Linux, it works on Android, it works on Raspberry Pi. Didn't I say you can actually use this on Apple as well? Okay, and then you get web OS. There are plenty of ways you can do this, all right? Mac, iOS, TV, OS, all right, for you Apple users. So you can definitely go that route. And guess what, guys? Let me tell you. It is 100% open source, all right? So, again, there's always a workaround, and this, this right here is just one of them. Do your homework, you're going to be all right, all right? Because this is a legit, and you can go right to the Play Store and get this application right onto your streaming device, all right? So, again, another one. Get familiar with it, because I know we, we done moved on from Cody, but Cody, I believe, is about to get a rise, <laughs> some new tenants, that's going to come on over, back over for some of us, but it's going to get some new tenants, all right? And it's just going to run up, okay? So get familiar with it. Again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe, share this, thumbs up the video. And finally, I would love to hear from you. What are you going to plan to do? Are you going to start your media library? Maybe you already have your media library using Plex, Jellyfin, MB, and Video Nova Video Player. All right? Some of y'all even got yours to do. But for the ones who don't, what are you going to do? Are you going to learn to start your own media library? Or are you going to go ahead and say, forget that, Dale. I'm about to learn and get back on over here to Cody and learn how to do this myself, all right? I would love to see exactly what y'all are talking about. Again, subscribe to the channel, share this. 
And again, I would love to hear your thoughts. Salute to everyone. There's always a workaround, cord cutters. I'll talk to you on the next video. This is Superdale. I'm out. Peace. Be safe.